here with the junkyard dog, Aaron Peterson. Another win, another knockout. Second round, that, that was a straight knockout. The one even the TKO like last time. How you feeling, Jay? Feel good. I know we just talked, but I made a few mistakes. But I made a few fucking mistakes that yeah, I didn't like. Yeah, you the only dude I know, yo. You'll knock the dude out in the first round and be like, damn, I should have got him in the first 10 seconds. Because, <laughs> because, and this is not saying it in a braggadocious way, it's just what I'm coming up under doesn't allow for mistakes like that. I'm not allowed to make mistakes like this. And granted, some things in the back while we was warming up was a little different tonight, which is no fault of, uh, which is no fault of anyone. It just sometimes happens. So we couldn't get the best warm up as we usually do. So I had to adjust in the ring in the moment. I didn't come out cold, but I didn't come out as warm as we usually are. So I had to find the distance and do certain things. Therefore, I made some mistakes that I'm not allowed to make, and I, I don't I don't like it. And I'm not saying it because it sounds cool. Like no, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have got hit with, with certain shots, and it, this shit just not good. So we got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Yeah. Last two fights supposed to be step ups. You got him out of here early, and not just early, in spectacular fashion, right? What is that a testament to? Um, first and foremost, it's a testament to the blessings and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On that note, before I jump to that, um, may Allah make uh, Marcellus Williams grave spacious, Allahumma and me, and bring ease to the hearts of his families. Um, that man was wrongfully executed for no reason at all. So I, I um, this fight wasn't for me tonight. This fight was for his, his family, him, and for the Muslims around the world. Allahumma and me. Um, it's a testament to a love, first and foremost, and a testament just to the hard work that we do in the gym every day. Like I said, um, my big brothers, Kyron Davis and Julian Williams, they my big brothers every, every day. We together every day, training and working. And that's why I said the mistakes that I made in the ring tonight, I'm not allowed to make the mistakes, man. The, the mistakes get you killed. And, you know, had it been a, a, a world-class opponent, shit could have been different. So it's not it's not a good job, but we'll, we'll get back to work. Uh -huh. Overall, great your performance. Go ahead, say something out of pocket, Jay. Come on. I do want to say C+, plus, but you won't get mad at me. <laughs> but really, because I wasn't supposed to get caught with them shots, man. And I was supposed to do better with closing the show out in the first round. So yeah, C plus. That's the that's the only thing exactly. that I could get. I was supposed to close the show out the first round. I didn't. I crowded my work. Stupid day one mistakes. You crowd your work. You know better than that. Again, like I said, it don't matter if we had time to warm up in the back or not. Don't like care about that. Excuses only good to the person who make it. I'm not making no excuses. I didn't do my job properly in the first round. I didn't have my my, my distance right in the first round. C C plus, and I'm being generous by saying C plus. Jay, yeah, speaking to your Muslim brothers, huge fight tonight. Arthur Betterbeev wins a majority decision Akbar. over Dimitri Bivol in a great fight. A and great Riyadh. fight. What, what was your thoughts, yeah? Um, man, people can say whatever they want to say. Bivol was throwing it, man. I'm talking about that shit was hot, but Bivol was throwing. You mean so? Um, I know I had I had Betterbeev winning by knockout, but Bivol, man, that that guy was was holding his ground. He was putting it together. Um, extremely close fight. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was a draw. So, you know, I'm happy Bavall came away with it. I mean, Better Bev came away with it, man, inshallah. So, that was a great dream. But my guy was a hell of a fight. I'm looking forward to the David Benavidez, David Morrell fight next. That's going to be a banger. Jay, do they got to run it back? Why not? For the money, for the money, for the entertainment of the fans, I would I would love to see them run it back. I would love to. I would love to see the adjustments that Bavall would make. It's funny. Starting off the fight, I thought Bavall was going to be doing a lot more bouncing than what he did. He, but he, he wasn't. He was actually standing his ground like, I'm here with it. Doing a lot of trading. Bavar is sturdy, man. Bavar is sturdy, and we thought that Bavar wasn't going to be that sturdy. Bavar is sturdy, man. And Better Bev is too, but, you know, Better Bev can be touched, and it was showing tonight. So he came out with the victory. He did his job, but it was razor thin, man. It was real razor thin. Seesaw. Some people was calling robbery. I th it was tight to me. It was, it was tight. Close. It was tight. It was tight. It was tight. Um, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say robbery. I'm going to say draw or either way. Sometimes fans get caught up into the emotions of it. I'm not going to, you can't call it a robbery. That's like saying, which I just rewatched again, uh, um, um, Sugar, Ray Sugar Ray Leonard versus Hagler. The first four rounds went to Sugar Ray Leonard. The second four 
went to uh, Marvin Hagler. Mm. The ninth round, the ninth round was a swing round or Hagler, in my opinion. Some people gave it to, to Leonard. Some people gave it to Hagler. The tenth, and the, I mean the eleventh, the the tenth round, I believe, was a, a Ray Leonard round. Yeah, and then the eleventh and twelfth was Ray Leonard. So some people hate how that fight was drawn, but I think Leonard did enough in the eleventh and twelfth to win the fight. So some people was like, oh, Hagler won, Hagler won. Nah, fights like that is not a robbery. It's just real razor thin close.